towards the north. The clouds sat very low across the western side of Scotland. There were breaks further south. And out towards the east, the cloud has been sufficiently thick for there to be bits and pieces of rain and drizzle. That, I suspect, will continue on into the first part of the night, gradually straggling its way over towards the North Sea, leaving behind a very, very mild night indeed, especially so across England and Wales. So this is how we start off the new day on Tuesday. Rain will not be very far away from the border there, so I suspect quite a lot of cloud across Northern Ireland, but essentially a dry start. So too for much of Scotland, with the very best of the sunshine to be found out towards the east, maybe a scattering of showers across northern and western areas. Uh, some brightness there too, you'll notice, away towards the eastern side of the Pennines, cloudier towards the west. As we come down towards the East Midlands, parts of East Anglia, it's bright rather than full-on sunshine. But notice these starting temperatures, 18 or 19 degrees at this stage of the day. Some sunshine too across central southern England, but out towards the southwest, well, the sign of things to come, thickening cloud all the while through the morning here. And the cloud right from the word go on the western side of Wales may well be sufficiently thick for there to be bits and pieces of rain and drizzle. Uh, and this just is the first signs of an area of rain that will gradually work its way ever further towards the east. Ahead of it, uh, that brightness may well have sparked some showers. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly where that rain is going to fall at its heaviest, but that is the zone uh, where we think that it is most likely to fall. It could go a little bit further north, could just about get up towards the Scottish border, maybe a bother to the south of Northern Ireland. On into the latter part of the afternoon, could well see 25 degrees or so, but it's from this point onwards that the rain could become really quite intense for a time through East Anglia, uh, down to central southern England and into the southeast. But once that front is through and pushes the rain away, that introduces a somewhat fresher feel uh, to the night, so it's good by 18, it's hello closer to 12, 13 or 14 degrees. So a drier, fresher feel to the day, perhaps for the bulk of England and Wales. Still some rain there across the far northwest of Scotland. Northern Ireland may just be bothered by that in the far north. And some of that heat may just spark one or two showers uh, through the afternoon. Some of those could be on the sharp side by Thursday, though, with a ridge of high pressure toppling in. That could calm things down at least for a while. More details as ever. Touch the